All right, everybody. So what we're going to do here, we're going to run back through this Exploring the Lab uh, walkthrough. Okay, we're not going to go through the entire thing, but I have noticed and it's been brought to my attention a few times that some of the instructions are not visible, right? Because the screen is blown up on the YouTube video. Okay, it's not condensed. You can see it, the entire screen here. But if you look at the initial walkthrough video, you can't really see certain things, right? Such as this Thunderbolt icon up here. I don't think you can see the network buttons down here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back through the first half of this lab so you could at least see the buttons that I was clicking, right? It shouldn't make or break the lab, right? Because you should still be able to understand and hear what I'm doing. But for those who are really, really new to this, it can still be a little bit more confusing for others who have a little bit of experience. So I'm going to go back through this, at least the first half, so you can see what I was highlighting. OK, so this isn't really going to be as technical as the original walkthrough. Again, this is just so you can see the icons we were highlighting as we were going through this. OK, so remember, this is the first the first lab to me, it's one of the most important parts because it outlines or it outlines all of your devices, the entire environment that you are going to be utilizing throughout the rest of these labs. OK, so please, when you when you do go through this, make sure you go through the first video first, the initial, the original exploring the lab walkthrough, because that's going to give you a more in-depth analysis or assessment of this entire lab, right? What is a DHCP server? What is a DNS server? What is Active Directory? Watch the first original Exploring the Lab walkthrough that we made at Online Security. Okay, so for all that being said, let's go ahead and, and jump right into this. So remember the first few of these sections are really to navigate you around your new lab environment. All right, so the first instruction here they want us to analyze this resources tab. OK, so if we go to this and the resources tab is right here, just in case you can't see what I'm looking at, they want us to highlight this, right? So we're going to click this. And over here on resources, you'll see all your different virtual machines. OK, you have your DC one machine, the MS one machine, LX one, Cali, local, and some other routers, right? These are your routers. If you wanted to go ahead and launch one of them, for instance, right now, you can see we're under MS1. Okay, if we wanted to open up DC1, all we would have to do is click on it. Okay, we click on DC1, and we, we have multiple options in order to hit Control-Alt-Delete so we can enter the password. One of those options is by hitting this control alt delete, which is under resources. Another option is using this Thunderbolt icon here, right? If we click this, you'll see control alt delete. It's a shortcut and you'll see a bunch of other shortcuts. OK, you can even type your username, password or paste what's on your clipboard. OK, we can also type the username and password using these buttons here, right? If we click this to this. OK, but this is your resources tab. It allows you to interact with any of your virtual machines. We can click on any of them and it would simply take us to it. Right. We can enter our username, our credentials. But let's go back to the instructions. All right. So that's the resources tab. All right. The instructions tab here. It's clear enough. These are where our instructions and tasks are going to be. OK. And you'll see these check boxes all along the instructions tab. All right. This is going to help us with our progress. All right. As we click more or highlight the boxes, you'll see the progress increases. Watch this. OK. Now, instruction number three or step number three. This is going to be about the help tab. OK, let's go ahead and select help, which is right here. It's a pretty big circle. <laughs> it's right here and we can change the theme. Right of, of our layout if we want to. I'll make mine's red. OK, some information about Comtia's help help desk. 
please use this if you're having issues that go beyond your, your networking issues, right? Some of us have faster connections. Some of us have slower connections. If your labs aren't working at all, please reach out to CompTIA immediately. Okay. So some more tips and tricks. This display icon here that they're mentioning, that's it right here in the top left corner. Okay, with this display icon, if I come over here and click it, I can go into full screen. I can switch to fit the window to the machine, right? I can open up my virtual machine in another window, okay? And it just opens it up in a new window, all right? I don't want it like that, so I'm gonna close that out. But it may be convenient for some, it may not for others. Okay, the next instruction. This right here is going to talk about the control alt delete button these next few instructions right we just mentioned it if you need to hit the control alt delete you have this option here using the thunderbolt key or lightning right we can go to type text to type in our username and password and for the control alt delete we can just hit this or we can go back over to resources right we can come back over to resources and use the control alt delete on the system of our choice. In addition, I'm gonna change this color back. The red is blending in with, with my annotation. So if we come back, what CompTIA does sometimes is under instructions, they'll have the control alt delete button here for us sometimes. So we won't have to go to the Thunderbolt sometimes. We won't have to go back to resources. We can just stick to the instructions. So either one we click will work, right? If we click this, it'll open this up for us, okay? So let's go ahead to the next section. All right, here we're gonna explore one of our machines, DC1. And remember, please make sure you go back and look at the initial initial walkthrough because we go into details about DC1, MS1, and what these servers really are. Okay, we're not going to go into too much details of them here. Remember, this is just to show you what was missing in that original walkthrough. Okay, so DC1, I'm already here. If I wasn't or if you're not, you just click this. And we have to type in our password. So I'm going to go to resources here. This resources tab gonna click this make sure my cursor is here and select password hit enter well I don't have to hit enter I clicked it okay and now we're logged in okay and that's what this instruction was pretty much telling us to do exactly what we just did okay um, now we're logged in this one too we did this we did this. Now, this is one of the things you couldn't see in the initial video was this. This this network, this domain, the corp.515support.com domain. Okay, this is the network bar down here. Okay, this computer. If you hover over it, right, you don't have to click it. You should be able to see the corp dot 515 support domain let me hover back over it and you can see it right here corp.515 support.com domain okay if you don't see it let's go ahead and right click this computer okay we're going to right click that and then we're going to oh actually we're not going to right click that we're going to right click this this entire this taskbar, this long bar where all of our applications are sitting on. We're gonna right click this. Okay, and once you right click this, you are going to go to your network connections. You're actually gonna right click the start bar, I'm sorry. The start bar, start button. And then we're going to go to network connections, which is right here. 
Okay, so for this step five, what we need to do is right click this start button here, which is at the bottom left corner, this, right click, and then go to network connections. And then from here, and this is only if you don't see this domain. If you see this domain, then you don't have to do this step. If you see corp.515support.com, you do not have to do this step. Okay, if you don't see it, then you would proceed to step five, right click the start button, open up network connections, then right click this and disable it. And then we're gonna right click it again, right? Before I do that, if I come down here, all right, it's still there. And that's because I never had an issue with it, but we're gonna right click it again and hit enable. Okay. Now you should see, if you did it before, now you should see this network domain pop up. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight this. And notice, I just tried to click this and I didn't click this, I didn't select it yet. So CompTIA is gonna give me a message, hey, are you sure you wanna skip ahead? We've already done four, so yes, I'm gonna skip ahead. And we did six, we did seven. Now let's go ahead and switch over to the MS1 system. All right, MS1, we can either click this here or we can go back to resources and click MS1. Either one is gonna work. Okay, so I'm just gonna click this. And then I'm gonna select Control Alt Delete. And then I'm going to select my password. Now we can select enter here. Now while this is loading up, okay, let's make sure we're good here. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna hover over this, we're gonna hover over this network icon to make sure we see the domain corp.515support.com domain okay make sure you can see this domain if you do not see it you're going to do the same steps up here okay you're going to right click this open up network connections disable this and re-enable it okay so afterwards we did that we're going to use this server manager tool it's already open for us. Usually when you log into a server, server manager opens up by default. Okay, and please make sure you look at the initial walkthrough video for more information on this. All right, so what you're supposed to do next is just get more familiar with this layout. Okay, so we're gonna go to tools right here. We're gonna go to tools. All right, and what do they want us to select? DHCP. Please, please, please make sure you're looking at the initial video where we talk about DHCP services. Okay, we go into a lot of details about what that is. Okay, now that we're under here, we want to right click. Here, let me open this up. You want to right click on this. Okay, and select all tasks. And then you want to select restart. Okay, but first you have to select it first. And before I do that, you notice how CompT is letting me know, letting me know that we have about less than 10 minutes left before our lab expires. I'm just going to hit yes to extend it by 15 minutes. Thank you, CompT. Okay, so you have to select this first. All right, we have to select this first. Select the ms1.corp.515support.com system. And then right click, go to all task, and select restart. Okay, this is going to restart our services, our DHCP service. And please, 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 pretty please, go back to the original video and, and, and take notes on what these different services are. Don't just go through the video to get through the lab. Go through the video for understanding all of them. 
Go through them for understanding. You should be taking notes as you're going through those videos. Okay, please. All right, we've done that. We've done this. We've done this. Okay, we just have to wait for these to show green icons again. They, they are still restarting. Give them a few. If I click on IPv4, oh, let me get this off the screen. If I click on IPv4, the green check mark comes back up. If I select IPv6, the green check mark comes back on. So we are good to go. Now the rest here, it's pretty much straightforward, but we'll go ahead and do it together. All right, this is already done in the previous or initial exploring the lab walkthrough, but we'll do it again. So we want to go ahead and launch this DVD, All right? We're going to just click this. We don't have to physically put it in there. We don't have access to it. So we're going to click this and you can see it pops up here for us. So I'm just going to select this and open folder. Okay, I want to open the folder to view the files. And you can see all the files here. Right, if you didn't select that, right, if that didn't pop up for you, what you could have done is hit your start button, open up File Explorer, and just go to it from here. Right, it, it should be right here. Or you can click this PC and you should see it here. You'll also see it here. So we can just double click it. Oh, actually, I didn't want to double click it just yet. Okay, I don't want to double click it just yet. Let me mark this. Let me mark this. And I'm going to X out of that. I don't want to launch it just yet. Right, because it says do not install any software at this time. Okay, so don't launch it yet because we have to do some PowerShell commands before we launch it, which is the next few steps. So we are going to go ahead and open up PowerShell, all right? Right click this start button. And then we're going to go to PowerShell. Actually, where are you? Where are you? Okay. I actually want to select start, not right click it. Okay, we're going to select start and here's PowerShell here. So let me do that over. We're just going to select it, not right click it. And then we're going to select PowerShell, which is right here. Okay, but we're going to right click PowerShell to run as administrator. Anytime you want to run a program as admin on Windows, you right click it and then select run as administrator. Okay, and now we're going to run enter some commands. You don't have to type it in. We can just select this text box right here. This text box here. Just like the username and password, it will enter the commands for us. So if I hit this, it types host name for us. Hit enter. We get the host name. It's MS1. If I select this and then hit enter, we get our IP information. Okay, and then if I hit type in exit, guess what it does? <laughs> It exit out for us. It closes out PowerShell. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. I hope seeing those icons that were missing from the initial walkthrough video was a little bit better for you to help you get through the labs. If there are any issues with other labs, please let us know. All right, we have no issue going back over to show you this from another perspective or to do it over so we can get it done the right way. All right. We want to see you win. We want to help you out. Thank you for everybody who's been leaving comments and letting us know their opinions, suggestions, and the kind remarks that you all have been leaving. It means a lot to us, especially means a lot to me. I'm really appreciative. I'm really grateful. And I look forward to learning with every single one of you. Have a good one. And please let me know what other videos or content that you would like to see us create. Take care. Hold on to your loved ones. Give them a kiss. And I'll see you all next time.